I mean, in terms of you know, the, how the market sees it, I think the National Bank of Greece was the last bank to do a, 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 some, a, a, some, an issuance, and actually I think that was priced even more tightly than the sovereign, so that was a vote of confidence in a sense. I think the way the market sees the Greek banks is a, as a recovery story. You know, it's a, it, it, it sees that they've been, re, you know, they're, they're being recap, they're being recapitalised. That they can see, that they expect the, the economy to start recovering. Um, so they, they, so they see upside to it. I think. Um, I, I think from our point of view, I think we would also just flag up the fact that actually non-performing loans are still rising quite rapidly, mm -hmm. and they are they are over 30% now. So that, you know, there's a whole issue about. Um, you know how those are um, how those are addressed, mm -hmm. um, and also the banking system is still quite reliant on on um, ECB funding. You know this ECB and uh, ELA funding, which is still about 60, 60 billion euros. Ο Πολ Ρόκινς δεν παρέλειψε να αναφερθεί και στον παράγοντα του λεγόμενου πολιτικού ρίσκου εν ώψη της διπλής εκλογικής αναμέτρησης του Μαΐου. We have, we have, I mean, we have flagged up political risk all the way through, really, and it, and it, and it remains high, although not not as high as it was in the sense that. Um, There's less risk of Greece being taken out of the eurozone now than there was before. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It, I don't know. It's been closed for good, but it's but it's certainly not not nearly as um, not, not nearly as um, vociferous as it was mm -hmm. in the past, actually. And in fact, I mean, I, I think Syriza, the opposition, has backed away from that now. It's uh, you know, it recognised. Uh, I think one of the problems here is, I mean, de depending on, uh, as far as the European elections are concerned, I mean, I think if, if, think if, Euros, if, if Syriza does well, then the government will be under pressure to, to probably have some sort of cabinet reshuffle to try and restore its, its majority in Parliament, mm -hmm. which is still very narrow. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't, I wouldn't necessarily think that just because Syriza does well in the national, in the European elections, it should be read across that they do as well in the national elections. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, I think in part it's a protest vote. Really, it would be a protest vote. Um, and in some ways, time is on time is on the coalition side in the sense that the, you know, the economy is recovering. If it post growth this year, that would be a big a big advantage. Με εκείνου που θεωρούν μάλλον απίθανο ένα νέο κούρεμα του ελληνικού χρέου, συντάσσεται και ο εκπρόσωπο του οίκου Φίτ, που περιμένει η ελάφρυνση του χρέου να περιοριστεί τελικά στη μείωση επιτοκίων ή την επιμήκυνση. Η Τρόικα έχει δείξει τι κονδύσει για να δημιουργήσει την debt relief, και η Γκρίση έχει δείξει αυτέ τι τρίγκε, πρώτα απ' όλα το πρώτο σύρπα, και οι συζητήσει θα γίνουν. Uh, begin, I think, on the 5th of, 5th of May, although they probably won't reach any resolution until October. Not even, um, not, not even in a political level ahead of the elections. But, I, you know, I don't think there wouldn't be any positive news ahead of the elections, I don't think, in that sense. Mm -hmm. But, I, you know, what, in terms of what the Troika would offer, it seems, I mean, it seems highly unlikely that the Troika would offer haircuts on, on, it, on its official debt. Uh, so it seems much more likely that they will offer you know, yet longer maturities, And lower interest rates. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but I, I mean, I wonder about the scope for that, really, because the debt is already the maturities are already very long, and the interest rates are quite low.